Hey Juba Jubers! Um, this makeup look is going to be more of a smoky look and a bit more dramatic and it's going to have hints of blue in it as well so think smoky with accent blue. So I'll get straight on into it. First off we're just going to be putting on a primer of uh, L'Oreal Lumi Magic Primer. Gives your skin a nice sort of, doesn't matter out too much, still gives it a bit of a sheen. So I'm just going to put that on. I'm also going to be putting Urban Decay Primer on my eyelids, ready for the eye makeup. And bringing it all the way up as well, and slightly under. Now the summer days are getting a bit more dismal and gloomy. My skin's got paler, even paler. And so I'm going to use these two foundations just to mix up a more suitable colour for my face. So I'll just do that. Then I'm just going to put a bit of concealer on, and this is one of these sort of brush ones. I've rubbed off the make, so I don't even know what make this one is. I only got it the other day, but it's a cheap one, I know that. Not an expensive make at all. Got it in Wilkie's. So i just pop that on. Then I'm just going to get my Coastal Scents concealer palette and just pop a bit of concealer wherever I need it. Then I'm going to get a bit of Estee Lauder bronzer and just put that where I want more definition and shape to my face. Right, that's all we're going to do for the face bit now and then we're going to move on to the eyes and we'll come back to do all the finishing bits of the face after. So first for the eyes, I'm going to go in with Urban Decay Electra Palette and I'm going to go in with this blue and with a big fluffy brush and I'm going to put that into the crease and keep buffing until it looks nice and dispersed. Then with a smaller fluffy brush we are going to go in with a dark blue from Bella Pierre, it's like a royal blue. I'm trying to show, I don't know what it's called. Lovely dark speckled blue, it doesn't come out speckled though, it comes out quite matte but that's it and I don't know what colour it's called but it's beautiful. I'm going to pop that in the crease again, but because we're using a smaller fluffy brush, it's not going to go, it's going to merge in nicely with this blue, but not overtake it all. And again, keep going until it's all merged and blended in nicely. And then with a big black eyeliner, chunky ones are just easier because you're going to cover your eye quicker. I'm going to pop that all over the eyelid. This one's a Maybelline one, the big eyeliner. So I'm basically just colouring in my lid. And then you want to get as close to your lash line as possible. I'm going to put some in my upper waterline as well. Just to really make that dark in more intense. And this smaller, this is my little nice brush. It's like nice and soft so it blends nicely but it also can pack it on quite nice as well. It's more of a precise brush. And I'm just going to get a black and this is just from the Poptastic collection one. Really good black, nice and cheap. You can tell I use that one a lot. And I'm going to pat that all on top of where we just put that black. I'm going to bring it down into my corner of my eye and under. And then with another sort of blending brush, I'm just going to blend that all in. And you'll move it a lot easier if you're very light handed with these. If you press too hard, you're just going to end up dragging it and then you end up with not being so even, so you want to be nice and light handed. I'm going to do the eyeliner for the bottom. I'm just going to dry my waterline first with a um, cosmetic bud and that will just help the, um, the waxy eyeliner stay on a bit better. And also if you get end up getting um, black in there accidentally, it cleans that up as well. Then I'm going to go in with the other side of that um, Big Eyes Eyeliner by Maybelline with the white I'm just going to line that. Then I'm going to go in with a Makeup Academy blue eyeliner and I'm going to pop that on top. And then, just to intensify that a little bit more, I'm going to go on top of that with a blue from that Colourpop Tastic, uh, Pop -tastic uh, collection one. I'm going to go in with a nice bright blue. I'm just going to use that to put on top of that to seal that all in and give it a bit more emphasis on the colour. 
Right, that's the bulk of the eyes done. I just need to put on fake eyelashes. So this one's already got the eyelashes on, so I'll just do this one. And then whilst they're drying, I like to just push them up and hopefully that will allow them to dry in the direction you want rather than flapping down here. You can't even see my hand, can you? Right, so whilst that's drying, I'll carry on with this one. So what we want to do now is the eyebrows. So with the eyebrows, I'm just going to fill them in um, just so they look more bold because with the dark eyes and then a sparse eyebrows, it doesn't really match. So I'm just going to make sure you can actually see it. I have eyebrows. So I'm just going to fill that in with some eyeshadow. And then coming back with this eye, whilst that's still dry and still a little bit wet there, um, I'm just going to use a Makeup Academy Undress Your Skin Highlighter. I'm going to use that as the brow highlighter, brow bone highlighter, and on the inner corner of my eye. I'm slightly underneath. So the last bit for the eyes is the mascara, so I shall pop some mascara on. That is still drying, and that should dry clear, so hopefully that will dry soon. But I just carry on and put mascara on. Right, so now the eyes are done, not much left to do, it's just the cheeks and the lips. For the cheeks, this is a new kid um, blush palette, and I'm going to use this blush but I'm going to just put a little bit of this orange on my brush as well because I feel like orange complements blue quite well and I don't want a pink pink blush I want it to have orange tones in it so I'm going to blend them both together on the brush dab dab customize blush then it's just the lips and again I want to try and go for something normally bold eyes you'd have nude lips to go for something different I want to go for um, something a little bit sassy so for my lips I'm going to use a orangey color um, and that's the Makeup Academy one Nectar so I'm just going to put that straight on and then I'm just going to pop a little bit of pale concealer in the middle of my lips to give it a little bit of a ombre appearance and for the last finishing touch back in with the highlighter on the cheeks Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like if you like, share if you like and subscribe if you like.